Hidden away at the Edenfield near Bury was a long ramshackle group of old buildings made largely of corrugated iron. It was Lancashire's last commercial rope walk. The Britannia Rope Works, Edenfield, 1990. Rope was used in many ways, from washing lines to fastening ships to the quayside. Made of cotton or cotton hemp strands, they had to be twisted or braided together to form rope. The technique is ancient, dating back many thousands of years. At the Britannia works, the strands were first of all wound into a form that could be used on the rope walk. The rope walk is then ready to receive the different strands or lays to be braided or twisted into rope. The strands are then laid out along the length of the rope walk and attached to a movable trolley or headstock. The operator separates the lays with a conical wooden block that keeps the rope taut and then the twisting end of the machine is set into motion. Originally the twisting and braiding of the rope would have been by hand but at the Britannia works ancient machinery twists each lay in opposite directions so that the rope won't unravel as well as making it strong. As it twists and braids the lengths of the lays shorten and the carriage is pulled along. When the moving carriage gets close to the powered end of the rope walk, the conical wooden tightener falls out and the rope is then detached from the twisting hooks. The completed rope is then pulled across from the rope walk to a wooden creel. This simple wooden structure is a throwback to medieval times. The operator first of all sets up the creel ready to receive the rope from the rope walk. The rope is then wound carefully by hand directly from the rope walk. And now for the crafty bit, getting the rope off the creel ready for the customer. Once the coil rope has been secured by twine, he simply removes the wooden support structure from the centre and the rope is taken off ready for dispatch to the customer. 